guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here so today we're doing a room tour and i'm very excited to show you my room i've always been very passionate about decorating my space and i've lived in shared apartments with roommates for i think six or seven years now uh, i've lived in multiple cities in multiple apartments but this one uh, is the one that I've been living in the longest. Um, yeah, so I've been here for I think three years. I also changed rooms. I had a smaller one before, just right next to mine. Um, but now I have a very big one, uh, which is very nice. And I love decorating it and finding um, antique and vintage pieces to put in my room. Um, and I will show you. So this is the view that you get when you walk into my room. We have the sleeping area, living area, a reading area, my desk and some clothes. So I have this little mirror. Um, I'd like to have a bigger one, but this is what I'm rolling with right now. Of course, those are not all the clothes that I own, but the prettiest ones. I like these kinds of clips. Um, but those ones break easily so this one is my newest one which is out of metal made out of metal and until now it's very durable so all these clothes i kind of color coordinated as you can tell uh, at least i tried <laughs> but all my other clothes obviously are in this closet um, i got it from my former roommate um, it was brown before and i just painted it white um, <laughs> As you can probably tell, because it's not, I haven't done a good job and it's still brown inside, so. Um, I also tried to do the Marie Kondo style. Uh, I got some boxes, some sh old shoe boxes to organize all my tops and skirts and pants and stuff. Um, but it's still not perfect. <laughs> the middle part, unfortunately, doesn't have a lot of um shelves so i kind of bought these boxes from ikea and just put them in there to get some makeshift shelves um, for my pants and some pullovers um yes those are my two teddy bears i'm very proud of them they're my babies <laughs> i have a lot of handbags over here um yes don't mind this one it's completely uh, dead now <laughs> And this is a carnival costume I wore last year. It's kind of an old vintage wedding dress, but very like big and princessy. And I'll probably wear it again next carnival. And in the last um, part, we also have a hanging area. This doesn't look very aesthetic. You might also already have wondered what I have on my closet. And it's white boxes, also shoe boxes, old boxes that I painted white. Um, I don't know when they started, but at some point I just started painting all the boxes that I got white to store stuff in, just because I didn't have a lot of storage space, and I kind of kept with it, and I think it kind of worked, like, it, it works for me. It's not the most aesthetic thing, of course, but, yeah, it's fine. Uh, this, by the way, is a new dress that I just got yesterday, and I hang, hang it up because it, it's creasing easily and so I hung it up to let it let it do its thing I think <laughs> I guess up here I have some dried flowers an old photograph some candles over there as well uh, this little shelf thingy I have usually I have a candle in there yeah and those are just some flowers that I bought and then dried over my bed uh, we have a couple of frames and posters um, I know here something is missing but I don't know what to put there right now I always had a hat hanging right here and this one over there um, but I just sold it a couple of days ago on uh, Depop I think um, yeah now I have an empty space maybe I'll put the old photograph from there to there <laughs> we'll see um, also here I'm drying up some flowers as well these ones I got for my birthday from my boyfriend he gifted to me uh, when they were still fresh and i thought of hanging them up to dry so i can 
um, look at them even longer. But I think they should be good to go soon. I think they're pretty dry now. Um, yeah, down here, another box. I'm not sure if I will keep it there. I'd like to have like a little console maybe. That might, might be nicer. And I just put this um, antique mirror on top. Um, also, this is my like dressing gown, I think you call it. Also vintage, um, which I use when I go into the shower. Uh, this is my bed. Uh, it's not too big, but it's fine. Uh, by the way, I pulled down the curtain um, so to kind of protect my privacy and um, location. <laughs> so over here we have a lamp um, that I just recently bought off of H&M Home, I think. Um, because I've always wanted a reading light, I never had one, and this is just perfect, so I can read in bed late at night. Uh, also, you can already tell everything is quite bright and white, and yeah, um, but I like to set some colorful highlights. For example, <laughs> this bed sheet <laughs> in a blush pink. Then over here we have my nightstand, also vintage. Um, I found it at an antique shop. Um, the books that I'm currently reading, uh, I know those aren't the most aesthetic ones, but I'm still reading them, so that's why they're there. <laughs> um, my one plant that I have left, uh, which isn't dying for some reason, I don't know why, because I kind of never water it. Yes, and so over here we have my couch. And again, bright uh, neutral colors but with some like colorful um, hints. Above here we again have some posters. Um, by the way, this is like the how the wall usually is in German apartments I think. And here my old roommate um, Jamie just ripped off the I don't know, I don't even know how it's called, like the stuff that's on top here and isn't here anymore. Um, but I like to keep it that way because it. I think it just looks so cool. Like, I'd want my whole apartment to look like this, but yeah, when I move out I have to put on the wallpaper. Wallpaper it's called. I have to put on the wallpaper again. Now, this is... Um my armchair that I've had for years and years and years. My parents got it for me when I was very young because I always wanted an armchair because I was such a bookworm and I always pic pictured myself reading in an armchair. And I still love it. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have a uh, nice pull strings, so I just put this white cloth um, over it. I can show you how it really looks like this. <laughs> Not very nice. Um, yeah, so. Um, maybe someday I'll get it repolstered, but for now that's too expensive for my taste, so it's good that way, I think. <laughs> and this is just a blanket that I kind of use every day, because our heating isn't really working in this apartment, and it's very annoying and super cold every day. Um, and I know this is not the prettiest um, blanket, but it keeps me warm and it's nice and soft, so that's why I have it. Yeah. Um, this is my bookshelf. Um, <laughs> some of the books I turned around because they were too colorful for my liking. Um, I like neutral tones, except of course for the Reclam books over there. They're bright yellow and I can't really do anything about it. <laughs> so that's fine. Um, this, by the way, is my new jewelry organizer. And I think it's very aesthetic because it's acrylic and see-through and I really like it. I've also made a reel about it on my Instagram. If you want to see, you can have a look there. So this table, makeshift table that I have next to my couch is actually just um, this. Um, I'm not sure how to call it. Tablet in German. I got from an old like Moroccan shop in Cologne here. Um, and the thing down there is actually just a poof or like a something to sit on, <laughs> like a hocker. Um, and I kind of paired it because I want to use the 
thing on top and I think it kind of works. It also matches the um, cushions that I have on my couch, so it's fine for now. Um, here are some candles and then the empty glass over there. I usually have candy in. <laughs> I usually store my candy in there, which looks very nice and is fun to eat. But at the moment it's empty because I have to go grocery shopping. And this is my desk and kind of my study area. Uh, again, I pulled the curtains a little bit, um, you know, the drill. Actually, especially in winter right now, it's very cold. And I sometimes just switch this chair with that armchair because it's just more comfortable. If you're sitting on the desk all day, I think sitting in an armchair with a blanket on top is way better than sitting on this very hot stool. <laughs> and so that's why I, what I do like daily, actually. But I really like sitting here and studying here because I have the view in front of me. I get a lot of light, um, which is very nice. Here's my little setup to get ready in the mornings, to put on some makeup, do my hair. It's just boxes on boxes on old speakers. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's nice because I can store stuff in here. Um, down there I have brushes and yeah, some cream and stuff that's not that aesthetical. And some makeup products in here. Yeah. Um, all my brushes and there's a lot of makeup in here. Uh, lipsticks and stuff. It's not very organized, to be honest. Even though I'm usually such an organized person, this part isn't organized. Maybe I need to find another solution for the space. But we'll see. And then on top of here... And then on top here, um, we have this old Moya Chandon box that I got when I was on holiday with my parents in south of France. And I, again, painted it white because what else do I do in my free time, <laughs> obviously. Uh, but it's nice because I have like nail polish and stuff in here. Uh, but lately it kind of got stained. I don't know how. Uh, I think it's oil or something. That's sad, but maybe I'll repaint it again. And here I have my perfumes. Um, these are two from and other stories that I like very much, um, but this one is the daily one. This one I use every single day. And over here we just have a candle and a little jewelry box, which is empty right now. So I hope you enjoyed this very short and sweet room tour. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section and I will get back to you. Maybe something that you saw and you want to know where I got it or um, something I could share a link to or anything like that, uh, just let me know. Um, also check out my Instagram for more detail shots. I like to take a lot of detail shots of my home. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next week, hopefully. Have a nice day. Bye.